Hey everybody, this is Grace. Pardon the video, pardon the blinker. Um, in this video, I'm going to t talk more about this woman named D. She calls herself Diva. She refers herself as a Diva mom, but everybody calls her Diva, and she that's what she wants people to call her as Diva. Now her son is in his like early 30s and and all. Okay, now at this point, I've got other videos, and I'll try to connect them to the end of this video. But she starts to realize, I mean, her her son is in his 30s, their son, her and her husband, um, Branson. Well, she finds out that because of starting in 2020, a lot of things have changed, that he basically has a separate life altogether. She doesn't know how, to what extent, uh, but, and also that the name that she he had given her from the start as Branson was wrong, it wasn't. His name, his name, or isn't his name, his name is actually Earl, E-A-R-L. And that so much of it was actually a lie. This is going to jump too much. Okay, so anyway, you know, a lot of things, you know, her eyes were finally, what you know, opened up. She realized she's in a jam, you know, because she can't find her husband. All of a sudden, you know, she, the one she thinks of her husband, they were never legally married, I mean, as far as going to, you know, that kind. Now, when she thinks of herself as in a jam, it's because she doesn't have extra money. Now, she works, and um, her son, like I said, early 30s, he does sometimes. He lives there and sometimes works. So, she, you know, she knows she's going to have to get him to work more and contribute more. And because she can't reach her husband, even his work phone is uh, dis disconnected. And she doesn't, you know, she he works in the big city. He didn't live there. You know, he was there off and on, but he mainly worked in the big city, what they call the big city, and she had never been there. She was kind of lazy as it is. She's rather histrionic also and a bit narcissistic, and um, she just felt, felt like he should come home and instead of her having to go there. Well, she started asking if she could go there, and he was making all kinds of excuses, and then all of a sudden, boom, radio silent. You know, radio silence. No contact nothing and his phone was disconnected at work okay but basically she liked his attention she really had liked his, all the attention he was giving her and he was giving her so much cash that she really like i said she started waking up to it and, and started realizing that she's not going to have everything that she's used to because you know she, one thing she did find out but more of accident um was that his name was wrong now trying to find him wasn't happening trying to, you know, she, she's not a wealthy woman, so she couldn't hire, you know, an investigator, investigators and all, and, uh, so she, you know, she wasn't sure what she was going to do, but in her mind, manipulating others is the answer. Okay, where was I? So, so many interruptions, but, um, basically, Diva, you know, she's like her early 50s, um, and, or maybe even late 40s, but she realized you know, she, she's got problems. And um, because she even though she works, she's never had to make it on her own. I mean, totally. Because he was there since she was, you know, um, right after high school is when they ran across one another. So she her she's very histrionic and uh, quite narcissistic. So she thinks she's going to use other people. And they're going to find, she's going to find some way to help um, find some ways to get another husband. That's what she's thinking. Now, she knows she's not legally married to him, but she also knows it's Texas. But she also doesn't know how that works because he was using a fake name. And she never, ha she doesn't have his address, his social, social security. Everything was in her name. And he was quite the narcissist and con, you know, manipulative con artist. And um, she always trusted him. But yeah. So what she decided she was going to do was her son, Trey, his name is Trey, um, has a child with a woman named Tabitha. And she'd been to their family. They live in a different part. They live in another part of the county. And they're very, very wealthy. And so she, her brain started ticking, you know, like she has some kind of you know, entitlement to have, to for it to benefit her that her son has a daughter 
by a wealthy um, a woman with a wealthy family. That's how her brain worked, that she is somehow entitled to benefit off of this, you know. So she, they had always, they had invited her one time when, and when um, Tabitha announced that she was pregnant um, to their house, but um, they were, she was invited for every holiday after that, but she wouldn't go. Um, she just felt they weren't her type of people. Well, they weren't. She's histrionic and they were, you know, just your average person without these, um, you know, these um, behaviors that should make her, you know, wild, over, you know, very loud, very obnoxious, very you know, loud in everything, like in every way, her appearance, her cackle, instead of a laughter, her speech, her um, looks all around her appearance. And uh, had to be the center of attention, made everything that even the uh, Tabitha, you know, telling everybody that she's pregnant, she made um, that turn around on her, you know, to where she wanted attention. She was a drama queen, wanted attention, attention seeker. Well, now she, you know, when her husband just kind of started, um, just trailed off, like, and then she, all of a sudden she can't hear from him. She said she was, she finally accepted it accepted to go to their, um, to their home for her, you know, the holiday, just one at first. She was just going to kind of war, you know, she was going to plan it more, but Thanksgiving for, you know, was the first. And after that, she would go for Christmas and, uh, she was going to, you know, do all the calculating, how she could work this, how she could get, um, you know, f some way find a husband that lives in that part of the county. If, if you, in that part of the county, that's very wealthy. You have to be somebody who is a descendant of, in order to own property. And where she lives, they're not. They're, they are not able to buy property. So she wants a rich husband, in other words. She wants one that she's actually going to marry this time. And uh, that's how, I mean, she's very fickle. She's very, oh, well, you know, he's gone. He's not giving me money. He's not giving me attention. And Branson, I'm moving on. I can't find him, or Earl, his real name is. I can't find him, so I'm moving on. Okay, now now Tabitha's parents, they're not stupid. They they realize that uh, Diva is up to something, because you know before she you know declined any uh, visiting, they were glad that she declined it because she was so obnoxious and so self-centered and so forth, and uh, they were happy, but they still they they they. Very polite people, very good, decent, polite people. So they would still invite her, um, but like I said, she would decline. But still, all of a sudden, she decided she would, and they were really wondered what is she up to. You know, like I said, they're not stupid; they can figure it out. She's up to something, and uh, she was. She was up to. And she wanted, like I just said, all this video. She wanted a new husband. She wanted one somebody who was going to, um, she can get wealthy off of, and that's how cold she is. You know, it's it's all about her to her, and exploiting others. You know, very narcissistic, and uh, behavior exploiting others to gain what she wants. It's, it's that's how life is in her attitude. Everybody should know it. Kind of attitude that people are going to use you for their own gain. Okay, so, you know, she she had this, this going on, but in the meantime, you know, these things, you know, she couldn't find Branson, AKA Earl. <laughs> she couldn't find him. And she was making planning, planning and she really didn't care if it, it caused problems with her son and his mother who, you know, it, it, she didn't care. It was all about her, she needed, she wanted, she didn't need, she wanted that extra money and extra help. And uh, she, like I said, she never had to try to make it on, totally on her own because she always had Earl, you know, Branson paying her and, um, you know, giving her money. And so, anyway, that's enough for this one for now. I'm going, this is a hypothetical fictional story. It's part of a series, um, or a huge series, which all hypothetical fictional stories, read the disclaimers. In the description box below this video on YouTube, it's copyrighted to me. And even the rough drafts, and this is a really rough draft. 
I'll talk to you all in another video. Bye.